Both the trains in this shot are track geometry trains. One is owned by a company, the other by the government. But what is track geometry, and why does it need to be inspected? Wear and tear. It happens to all of us, even to trains and tracks. Because yes, rails are built to have huge, heavy metal machines run over them at speed, but not forever. As tracks are exposed to the elements and trains, over time they may ever so slightly change shape. But even small deviations can have catastrophic consequences, so it's important to regularly inspect the rails on a railway line. How do you do this? Well, you could close the line to train traffic and have people standing trackside inspecting the rails. But for systems that are hundreds if not thousands of miles long, that's impractical. You're going to want something faster, something that doesn't disrupt your system as much. Enter track geometry trains. Track geometry is kind of what it sounds like. The shape of the rails, the surface, curvature, stuff like that. Track geometry trains use a variety of tools to inspect the rails while they're moving, sometimes even at high speeds. Perhaps the most famous geometry train in the world is Dr. Yellow in Japan. Or should I say was, this train will be gone soon. Very sad. Where I live in Washington DC, our metro system has its own geometry train, the Pickle. This custom-built little diesel train runs across the system taking measurements, and it is a rare sight to see. You can learn more about the Pickle by clicking the link in the description. The Metro is a contained system, but even the large railroads spanning thousands of miles also have to make sure that their tracks are in good shape. They too must inspect track geometry. The Federal Railroad Administration requires that all the big railroads in the US conduct manual track inspections. That means driving around in a high railer and observing the condition of the tracks. But in recent years, railroads have preferred to do less manual inspections and more automated ones. Automatic track geometry inspection is when railways use computers on a moving train to inspect tracks. The inspection equipment can be located in a box car or in special passenger cars, the latter of which are more fun for us train enthusiasts. Take this CSX geometry train in Washington DC, for example. It is the afternoon of September 9th, 2025, and I am at the L'Enfant commuter rail station, where this short train has apparently been standing for several hours already. Up front is just a regular CSX locomotive, an ES40DC built by General Electric. Number 5485. Behind the locomotive are three old rail cars. The first one, Florence, is a former baggage car that now houses a generator. See, passenger locomotives provide head-end power, the electricity that passenger cars need to work the lights, the air conditioning, stuff like that. Freight locomotives usually don't need that, so they're not built to provide head-end power. So to power the other two cars in this consist, Florence needs to have its generator spinning. The next car is the Detroit. Let me tell you, finding any information online about this rail car was nearly impossible. If anybody knows anything about it, like how old it is or where it used to run, please let me know. Finally, the car in the back is the Showstopper. This is the TGC2, a former Chesapeake and Ohio car. It is equipped with 32 lasers that scan the surface and the curvature of the rails, with the computers inside taking this data and creating 3D maps. There is somebody sitting back there. I can see their legs. So what my sources tell me is that this thing has been occupying the passenger track here at L'Enfant for the last few hours, including around one o'clock when two VRE commuter trains passed through. And what they told me was that the commuter trains actually stopped on the middle track and then passengers had to use the little wooden platform way at the end to board the train. And it took a long time. And it was a little bit chaotic getting all the people to go to the very back of the train and then crossing the track. Having automated track geometry trains has a number of benefits. It's more effective at finding defects. It can be done more often than manual inspections, finding defects sooner. It catches issues before they become defects. It reduces the risk of accidents that can happen when crews are walking along the tracks. And it frees up crews to work on fixing defects rather than looking for them. However, while the FRA lets railroads do as many automated inspections as they want, 
These railroads are not allowed to reduce the number of manual inspections that they conduct without the FRA granting a temporary suspension. Speaking of the feds though, did you know that they too have automated track geometry inspections? In fact, look at what's coming right now. What a lucky shot. I did not plan that at all. That's rail fanning for you. Sometimes you can plan the most meticulous itinerary for a video. Sometimes you just show up to a station and the FRA inspection car passes by the CSX geometry car. What a day. That's right though. The Federal Railroad Administration has their automated track inspection program or ATIP. With a fleet of eight vehicles, they perform inspections across the entire US rail network. In fact, according to the FRA website, they are the ones who have developed the technology that the railroads like CSX now use on their own inspection trains. Most of the FRA's vehicles are operated by a company called ENSCO, though one is operated by Tetratech. They have a variety of vehicles, including boxcars, high railers, but also former passenger cars. Living in DC, I've seen this specific car show up several times. It's DOTX 221 a lounge and sleeper car originally built in 1954 for the Canadian National Railroad. It was used on the supercontinental service from Montreal to Vancouver. The FRA has retrofitted this car with inspection equipment and painted it in a Pennsylvania Railroad reminiscent color scheme. You can see it all over the country. Sometimes it's attached to other cars in the FRA fleet, sometimes it's attached to Amtrak trains. Sources online gave me conflicting information on whether car 221 takes measurements when it's attached to Amtrak trains or if they are attached to Amtrak exclusively for repositioning moves. Either way, it's super cool to see, especially next to a CSX inspection car. Sorry, I'm still geeking out about that. It is kind of cool though, you have to admit. It's like the transfer of technology in one shot. I like to ride trains, whether it's to buy groceries a few metro stops away or to travel across continents, it's one of my favorite things to do. But sometimes it's good to stop and think about all the work that goes into keeping trains running safely. I've attached several links in the description below, sources that go into more detail about North American track geometry inspection, in case you're interested to learn more. Whatever it is you want to know about trains and public transportation, chances are we talk about it right here on Trains Are Awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, become a channel member if you want access to some behind the scenes content, or check out our Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.